Hi viewers, welcome to my channel. In this lecture, we will discuss uh, sample spark project. Okay. So, so far we have seen uh, how to execute uh, individual Spark programs, right? In this demo, we will discuss how to design end-to-end -end Spark pipeline. So, in the real time also, we will follow same uh, approach. And uh, for this demo, I have created one uh, uh, Spark Scala project. My source will be HDFS file. So in HDFS file, I have copied on CSV, that is source for my project. My POC demo will be reading that CSV from HDFS and the process in Spark and uh, again, that, uh, once the process is done, we have to save that uh, target to Hive or HDFS. Okay? So the main intention of this uh, video is so in real time how how to arc, organize our code okay so for for example there are some 10 different types of uh, source, uh, in uh, requirement are there, are there for example you usually in uh, data warehousing environments uh, there will be facts and dimensions so if you are processing uh, if you are building dimensions you can give that uh, all uh, dimension related all programs spark transformation programs you can keep it as an uh, in one one package and uh, fact related you can keep it in one folder other uh, main method driver related method utilities all this based on your requirement you can create okay you can create all uh, uh, different num n number of uh, packages and finally we have to call all this code in main method okay that we will see in this example so i have created my poc project project name is poc project as i explained earlier the structure will be like this one project name inside project package will be there inside package uh, all the classes uh, objects will be there okay so this is my project structure so if you see here uh, in my requirement i have I am considering the uh, I have divided my code into three packages, three packages, dimension, dimensions related uh, pro programs I am keeping under dimension package, driver, driver program package uh, that is in that I am keeping main method, utilities I am uh, creating utilities class, in utilities class what usually in a project repeatedly what uh, you will do is uh, what are the what are the actions you will do repeatedly that you will copy you, you will create in a utility utils class for example i will explain now what is utils <coughs> for every program we will write uh, we need log right that's why i have created log variable using this uh, logger dot get log this dot get log this using this uh, uh, code okay using this code uh, how to uh, import that uh, logger will be available in uh, log4j dot logger log4j uh, package okay and uh, for every spark program we need spark session right so i am creating uh, so, so for example in your program 10 spark programs are there 10 times you have to declare uh, 10, time, 10 times you have to create spark session right instead of doing that you can create one time in utils as a utility then you can import wherever you want right so uh, this also i am creating spark session is important must and should we need to uh, everywhere we need to add everywhere in the spark code and the third one is uh, reading csv file so in my project let us say some uh, there are some 20 csv files uh, 20 times if you want to read 20 if you want to create 20 data frames uh, see repeatedly you have to add uh, uh, spark that read that csv file this command you have to write 20 times right instead of that uh, if you create one function okay then you pass that uh, file name and uh, all these options then it will be easier right so 
that uh, that i am creating as a function so every requirement in the real time will be a function okay you have to uh, you have to develop the code in a uh, object oriented method okay everything should be a class okay object or function like this so oops concept you need to implement same file uh, uh, by using this method uh, I am creating data frame, employee data frame, department data frame. <coughs> so my file is available in uh, HDFS path in this path. So I am given here HDFS localhost. Uh, Hadoop will be installed in uh, port number 9000. So it is a local for demo purpose. I am hard coding here, complete path I am giving. But in the real time clusters, uh, it will be an environment variable that uh, name node name you cannot, uh, you will not uh, see this name. That will be an environment variable that we have to use that set. Environment variable slash employee dot csv. So header exists, I am passing same header exists or not. This csv file uh, three parameters it accepting. Path. Uh, header exists in first schema both are string data types okay I didn't type it data frame so i am written empty data frame here this is the three utilities i have created for my project that is based on your project how many you repeated suppose uh, every time you are ftping sending uh, uh, after processing that report you, you, need, you, have, you need to send to ftp server so ftp that func how to sending that uh, FTP uh, file to a FTP server, that uh, piece of code you have to write as a fun function. There, everywhere you have to call that one. For example, I am telling. So, all similar kind of utilities you have to create in utils class. Okay. So, I will then what I have created uh, department details will go. Department details, uh, dimension related. Uh, department details, one class I have created using extend keyword i am taking all the utilities what are all the variables methods i have created in utils class that i am extending to department details so extending why extending this is inheritance if you want to know more about inheritance i have made a video on inheritance oops concepts okay in the same uh, scala playlist you can go and and watch okay so in the department details class I am creating department total function. So it is taking one data frame as an input returning data frame. So just what I am doing here, just I want to, I am reading from the data frame, I am reading employee number, department number and manager and returning that department number. This is a demo for exception handling also. Exception handling also. Here every every method you have to every uh, function every class you have to implement uh, exception handling because in exception handling what i am giving log dot info i am providing because why it is uh, log is useful suppose there are number of spark programs you are running and uh, something somewhere job is failed due to some uh, syntax error something job is failed okay so where is uh, in which line it is failed if you want to track uh, if you have logger if you create a logger like this log.info it will be easy by seeing that error message okay in in this program in this step uh, that is got failed like that you will come to know and go directly you can open and you can fix and uh, that issue uh, again you can rerun if, if you are not uh, printing that will be again we have to uh, search for that error right so so log using log info we can uh, we can provide that meaningful information so in the similar way i have created uh, one more employee details uh, in employee details uh, class uh, i have created uh, employee total uh, method in that also same just i'm um, department wise sum of salary i'm taking and extra two columns i'm populating and displaying department number province total salary state uh, okay so if there is something goes wrong in the try section uh, this i am i am capturing this error okay and uh, this method return type is data frame right so i am empty data frame i am returning otherwise it will throw some error see if you see so 
so i am passing here uh, um, output is the data frame right so i'm passing just empty data, data frame i'm creating so these are the two uh, classes i have created that i am calling in main method <coughs> so if you observe my previous uh, here uh, we don't have any main method right now here we can see main method because this we are for going to pass to the sparse submit this class okay Prac package name dot main method name object name will pass to the sparse submit and this based on the our uh, argument type so i am creating one variable with the job type equal to arcs of zero arcs of zero means first parameter and for these two classes i am creating instances okay that instances and uh, <coughs> for these two classes we are uh, creating instance uh, if job type is matching if job type case i am implementing here okay if job is uh, employee then employee class is i am calling if job is uh, department department uh, class is i am i want to execute if i parameter is all all programs i need to call so in this way I have designed in in uh, future in real time also in this way only we'll design all our uh, uh, dead spark data flow. Okay, so default case uh, something invalid job some you so all this where we have to pass this parameter in sparse submit. Okay, this is the main method. Uh, so this main method we need to call in a sparse submit. Okay, so once that code everything is ready. So we need to <coughs> we need to generate jar file, right? How to generate jar file? I made a video on that. So we have to go to that project folder. And we have to give uh, how to pass SBT clean. Okay, and SBT uh, uh, package, right? So already I have created, okay. So jar file is already available. So my input is uh, HDFS path, right? So we need to I need to start H uh, Hadoop uh, services. So for that uh, start all dot sh. Currently, uh, this in my Ubuntu, manually I am starting and uh, stopping the Hadoop services. But in real time cluster, by 24 by 7, it will be executing. <coughs> so, my name node, data node. Node manager, resource manager, secondary name, no, all five services are running. So I will see my source file HDFS, DFS, hyphen LS. Output. See, this is the source for me. Okay. So This is now I will execute spar submit. Uh, spar submit class uh, I will give this uh, class. Okay, driver program dot main method. In that main method, what I am calling all my other other stuff is calling master local. I want to execute my local uh, local mode. So and uh, this is complete path of a jar file uh, which I have generated. Okay after jar file uh, we have to pass a uh, parameters space jar file space so i want to pass employee as a parameter emp so suppose for example you want to pass one more parameter space uh, suppose 10 you want to pass uh, 10 like that uh, you can pa you have to pass uh, for a date and uh, 
character type double quotations uh, integer not required we we'll see we first will execute this one we'll see You can see here success status uh, employee details 21 aggregation is completed that means employee class has been executed I didn't do any action just I uh, it is executed see here uh, so in this way uh, we can implement end-to-end -end, mm, take the data from uh, source process using in spark and uh, uh, in spark uh, divide the, uh, you, you orchestrate code uh, whatever uh, method i have explained you divide that code okay uh, uh, into classes and objects that uh, all the first create uh, call all uh, other classes in uh, main method that main method you execute in uh, you pa uh, execute in spark submit and pass whatever uh, parameters okay so in this is in this way if you follow this now you can create uh, one uh, small project in spark okay so if not done please subscribe my channel so in upcoming videos i will be uh, uh, making videos on other uh, important topics like file formats and uh, uh, other streaming uh, work uh, streaming programs also pre streaming module okay so if you have any doubts in uh, please pr provide your feedback in comment section then i if i uh, I, I will try to uh, uh, clarify your doubts okay thanks for